Hello, children. Ever tell you about that? Let me tell you a story. This has nothing to do with the original point of this video. It's always the aside. It happened twice. Um, I tell you these girls back in the 90s. Maybe the early 2000s. I said, kid. I used it as a as a as an affectionate term. Hey, kid, how you doing? And I got it from Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart. He called uh, Ingrid Bergman kid. And one gal, she got really pissed off about it. She was from Chicago. She didn't like it at all. I'm not a kid. How dare you? Sex is fucking... Blah, blah, blah. And, and, uh, and then that was kind of like the, the light that went on. Not all was right with the American female psyche at the time. Now it's almost damn well near two decades later. You kids are so... You guys are so fucked. <laughs> You're so fucked. I mean, if that's the bullshit I was dealing with, I can't imagine with all the leftist, feminist, indoctrinated fucking bullshit these girls get in high school and college. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because it's going to be a miserable existence for you, but it it, it just it just showed you. But um, oh shit, what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. It has nothing to do with the original, but um, <sighs> the harder the degree, the easier the life. And um, this is very important. It's a very simple economic lesson. It's a very simple lesson. And economics is one thing, but. You have to understand, and I need you young kids to listen to this, okay? This is very important. You view things in a very short time frame, very much in the short term, if not the here and now. You don't even think 10 feet, 10 seconds in front of you. And everyone thinks like, wow, um, engineering and math is hard. That's a hard path. I don't want to take it. So you decide to go an easier route, but the reality is that's not an easier route. You're going to major in English, you're going to major in sociology, you're going to major in communication, some other fucking bullshit. The reason that's not an easier route is because over the long haul, over the rest of your life, you're going to spend way more calories of energy on work, labor, suffering, misery, worry, threat, because you major in an easier subject. And when you were to tally up, calculate, sum up all the costs and consequences and pain and price that you are going to have to pay for majoring in an easy subject, and you compare it to the minuscule amount of price you're going to pay up front to major in a hard subject, you're going to realize that the harder degrees are actually the easier degrees. I don't give two flying fucks if you don't like math. I don't give two flying fucks if you're not good at math. That means you haven't tried hard enough. Oh my god, did he really? Yeah, I did. I did. I actually held you to a standard. I know most Americans are not used to being held to a standard because of our socialist pussies that have been like in the fucking school districts and the Democrats and all that. I'm like, oh, you, you judged. Yes, I did judge. I called you all a bunch of fucking liars. I called you all a bunch of lazy fucking pieces of shit. Now quit being whiny fucking cunts and go learn math. I don't care if it's tough. That's why people who are, you know, doing math make more money. Because it's not easy. It's hard. We know it's hard. And it's not just hard for you. It's hard for everybody. Some people just man the fuck up and did it. <coughs> so, despite math being hard, I don't like the math. It's easier to go that route and become an engineer. Let me tell you a story. It, perfect. it exemplifies this perfectly. I got an Asian buddy of mine, of course, to stereotypically. Yeah, but he fit it. It's true. Um, he's a great guy. Vietnamese dude. Uh, American. Uh, parents are Vietnamese, but uh, whatever. Neither here nor there. He has the Asian culture. They say, you will study math. Da, 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 and, you will study math. and he did. And you know what? Um, that dude has never seen an unemployment line. Never. He has it. Then there's my route that I went. I major. I, I had the math aptitude, but I was stupid and listened to what people told me. And so you should follow your heart. And I thought, okay, I love economics. So I studied economics and finance. And uh, that didn't go anywhere. But it was an easier degree. Let's, let's not joke about it. Economics and finance and business is a way easier degree than engineering, science, physics, or anything like that. After graduating at the age of 21, the next 20 years, you know, 17 years, 
fucking sucked. Fucking sucked. Stress, worrying about me. Couldn't find a job. Couldn't like it. No one was hired. You get low pay. All this other bullshit that comes with a worthless fucking degree. This guy, my buddy, the Vietnamese guy, not Mr. Lee, not the one that lives in the Kwanzaa. It's a different Vietnamese guy. He doesn't talk Vietnamese. My buddy con Meta Alan Quilly. This guy's American, excuse me. Anyway. He uh, has never, I mean, seriously, right out of college, got hired. Dude made six figures long before I ever did because I haven't yet, too. Yeah, so when that point in time comes, I'll let you know. But the, he, had, he had such an easier life. Now, admittedly, the first four years of college, he had to suffer more. He didn't get out. He didn't get laid. He didn't have sex. He didn't, like, fucking go party. That wasn't his goal. The man was smart. At least his parents were smarter and said, you are going to go and major in, he did software, uh, software engineering. So uh, the point is that if you were to amortize or calculate and summarize, and we're not even dead yet. I mean, he's still got like, we're the same age. We've got like, what, 30 years left of life expectancy, maybe. Um, in that past 20 years, I've spent way more calories of energy Worrying, fretting, suffering, scrimping by, and he has it. All because that guy was smart enough to put forth the effort and suffer a little bit for those four years. Right? So majoring in STEM is actually the easier route. Right? Don't, don't have the short-sightedness. Don't think, well, it's easier to go major in English because I already speak it. We understand, ladies, you're very American. Yes, we understand that. Um, but over the long haul you're going to make your life a lot worse and a lot harder than it has to be. Major in a fucking decent degree. I have a buck. Well, what should I major in, Aaron? Get this book. It's on the interwebs. Called Worthless, the Young Person's Indispensable Guide to Choose an Underwear Measure. Uh, yeah, that's going to save you a lot of time and agony over the long course. I mean, seriously, this is the number one. But I don't know why the fuck this isn't like a New York Times bestseller. Honest to God. You know what? The, the Fifty Shades of Fuck is coming out, and all you girls are going to go watch it. But you won't, you won't spend the money to watch, read this. No, I know. Because this is a Christian Grey. He's not the billionaire, eccentric, playboy, 27-year-old, dominating, pilot, helicopter type person. Why do women make less than men? I don't know, because they don't read books like this, but they'll go watch fucking Fifty Shades of Fuck. So, anyway, uh, seriously, STEM, engineering, science, technology, math, that's the easier route. That is the easier life. Choose it. Dedicate yourself to it. Learn the maths. Otherwise, your life is going to be way harder than it has to be. Toodles.